Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you how to use oxygen selector detector to style non-oxygen content. In this example, I'll create styles for this contact form, which I created with WP Forms and embedded in an oxygen page. So first, you have to enable selector detector. To do that, go to your WordPress admin panel, then go to oxygen settings and enable selector detector. Check the enable selector detector box and save the changes. Now selector detector is enabled. Now let's edit the contact page. So pages, contact, edit with oxygen. Now to style our contact form with selector detector, simply click the contact form and then click the style output button that appears in the lower left when selector detector is enabled. So I'll click Style Output to enable Selector Detector here. Say so Click Elements to see the selectors. So now I can click any of the elements output by this form shortcode and detect a CSS selector for that element. So let's start by styling the Submit button. So I'll click the button. It's detected button as the CSS selector. This is not as specific as we would like, so I'm going to choose WP Forms dash Submit, Disable button, and then click the short code. So we're only styling the button for this particular instance of the form. And then I'll simply create styles as normal. So background color, blue, borders, none, typography, color white, font family, display, size and spacing, we'll go width, 100%, padding, 20 pixels on all sides. And I'll give a friendly name to the selector I've created here. I'll call this uh, form submit and I'll put it in a style set, which is just a way to organize everything. Call this style set contact form. And now this selector and style set will appear under manage selectors, under uncategorized contact form, form submit. Okay, let's style another field in the form. So to do that, simply click the form, click Style Output. Let's choose the email field. Actually, we've detected an input selector, so this would style all inputs in the form. Let's choose a more specific selector here, shortcodes 25-40 input. That'll only style inputs in this particular form. And we'll call this one form input. Now I'll go to advanced and start creating styles. So I will go uh, background. Actually, we'll use white. Uh, let's put a little shadow on the inputs. So we'll go to effects, box shadow, color semi-transparent black no offset, 10 pixels blur, and I have a little shadow on the inputs. Okay, let's go ahead and style the field labels. So style, output, click a field label, we detect WP Forms field label. Again, we only want to style the field labels in this particular instance of the form. I'll call this one field label, place it in contact form, and then we'll go to typography and turn the size up. Okay, that is how to create and detect custom CSS selectors using Selector Detector. Thank you very much for watching.